Christos Porzingis is making some news this week. In an interview for a Latvian paper, his brother said that Porzingis would not sign an extension with the Knicks just because they can offer the most money, saying they're most focused on his legacy as a player and what the, want the Knicks to realize just how valuable he is to the organization. So, Bob, how can the Knicks make and keep Porzingis happy? Well, let me tell you something. Just when it looked like Carmelo Anthony <laughs> had taken this Knicks soap opera to Oklahoma City, we have this now. A new chapter of the Knicks soap opera coming out of Kristaps Porzingis, the hope, the future of the team. How can they make him happy? There's only one way. I don't care what his brother says. He says it's not about the money. It's always about the money. That's how you make someone happy. And that's what they're going to have to do. And yeah. the fact of the matter is they may have to do it. He's the only legit attraction they have as they go through this rebuilding process. He's the only one coming to the guard to see, worth seeing at the guard right now. So they're going to have to cater to his every whim. Mm -hmm. The thing about this is I'm surprised because if his brother's saying it, you know it came out of him as well. And this isn't the kind of guy we thought Porzingis was. But see, I, we actually, I don't think, we don't really know that. I think we're living in this time where family members are sometimes creating this unwanted drama. Drama. It could but he's have been his a agent, case. Taylor. I'm sure. Do you think he, do you really think that he would do this without informing Chris Stapps what he's going to do? Yeah. I mean, it seemed like from his story that they concocted and planned that whole him not showing up at the the exit meeting. So that was a conscious thing there. So I think they're working closely together. I like the sentiment of it from his brother as far as, look, the Knicks don't have a track record of winning recently. We want to see that you're going to build a winner around Chris Stapps and pay him. And so he's not just staying here for money, but he's actually going to have a successful career. Right. Which everyone would want. Yeah, but yeah. what confuses me is why this is made public at this point by his brother. There's two, there's two explanations. Either they already tried to handle it behind the scenes and it didn't go well, or I don't agree if, it, if it's the other case and the brother just went rogue and said this in an interview to put the Knicks on blast, this is not the time to do it. Uh, but I do agree with the sentiment that the Knicks don't have a track record and Chris Stapps wants to know that they're going to build around him. I, I don't like this one bit. I don't think it's an excuse for missing an exit video, uh, exit interview. I don't like the fact that his brother's speaking out on it and it's in poor taste toward Carmelo Anthony, who the whole time we thought Chris Stapps and Carmelo were friends. So this is a bad look. I do think Porzingis has something to do with it. And by the way, I like Porzingis. I believe he has potential. He's proven zero. So they can talk about all the money he's going to get and somebody's going to want to pay the unicorn until he actually has... Can we have one season from start to finish where he actually plays like he deserves something? Give me one season. That's all I'm asking for. Haven't seen that yet. So I think this was in poor taste and an otherwise positive start to Porzingis' season. All right, Porzingis, if you're listening, he wants to see something from you. Yes, <laughs> I went there. <laughs>